What's rockin' Rocky Top? It's Miles here at the Music Minute. Today I'm gonna be reviewing Avendrot by You Blew It. Avendrot was released by You Blew It on the record label Triple Crown Records in November of 2016. Upon first listen, this album was a drastic departure from the first two albums in their catalog, especially their 2014 release, Keep Doing What You're Doing. You can hear this upon first listen in the first song, Epaulette, which starts off with a smooth finger picking pattern, as well as frontman Tanner Jones' soft vocals. But that does not stop Avendrop from being a powerful album. One of the first things that grabbed my attention the most on this album was how tight the dynamic of the band was on each song. You Blew It contains two guitar players, and you can really hear how each part corresponds with the other, as well as the tightness between the drums and bass, allowing their parts to almost intertwine with each other, making Avendrop and its musical structure solid. I spoke with Tanner himself about the way this album was written and the influence behind it, and this is what he had to say. A lot of Avendrite, you can hear influence from early Death Cab catalog, Manchester Orchestra, things like that, but things that were much more expressive in their nuance. Avendrite felt more as a reaction to, you know, kind of emotion in the hidden parts of things, lyrics, tone, vibe, yeah. and just things we're essentially interested in more interested in yeah as we kind of progress as a band so i think that the to answer your question more deliberately a change i think can be more chalked up to just a change of taste we're just more into nuance rather than than all expressive emotion the one thing about Abendrot that stands out to me the most is that it has an environment of its own Song after song, it all seems to blend together, making it easy to listen to from start to finish. The drums have a roomy tone to them, the guitars have a nice dynamic to them, going between clean tones all the way to overdriven tones. The bass is deep and riveting, and if you pay close enough attention, there are some miscellaneous instruments in there as well, such as synthesizers and Wurlitzers. Abendrod overall is a solid album, and each song is enjoyable on its own. I would recommend listening to Sundial Song, Greenwood, and Basin and Range. All right, everybody, it's been Miles with the Music Minute. Thank you for checking out this episode, and I hope you enjoy what I've recommended to you today. Hey, man, this is what happens when you don't buy records. Just buy my records, man. You come here every day, just buy some records. <laughs>